Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you the fundamentals basics of the animation and we're gonna do the bouncing ball and I'm going to show you how to do the squash and stretch and timing. So let's get started. Select the rake, go to pose mode and go to first frame and here uh, do location Z5. Hit E, put location. Now turn on the auto keyframe and go to frame 7. Here you can press 7 and put 0. So it's on the ground. Go to frame 12 and do value 3 on the Z. Go to frame 17 and do value 0 on the z-axis go to frame 21 and do the value 1.5 on the z-axis go to frame 25 and do 0 and go to last frame on 31 here all right, sorry, 28, go to frame 28 and do 0 0.5 and go to frame 31 and do value 0. So now when I play it, we have the bouncing. And also, we can put over here location 0 and on the end we can put location 3 so when I play it it will go sideways the ball so also what we have to do we have to go to graph editor and here I can turn off what I don't need I just need the location set and I select these bottom points hit V and vector what it will do, it will make the bouncing ball look better. So now <coughs> we move to squash and stretch. I select this top point and I hit E location. So it remembers the location and I go to next frame. Oh, what we also should do is because when I do the squash and stretch, the rule is that when the ball is in the air over here, it's in a normal shape. When it touches the ground on the contact, it's stretched like this. When the ball and then the ball stays, so here I have to copy this frame, paste it, because it will be for squash, and the ball needs to be squashed like this. Then in the air stretched again like this. So here because it's the first contact pose I need to stretch it and here you can see stretches. We can make it with the direction a bit. So it's like this. Then it go up Also, the way how the ball stretches, it also demonstrates the weight of the ball. The more it stretches, the mass is less. For example, a bowling ball wouldn't be stretching like this. So, let's move to another frame. Here is another contact pose. So, I copy this frame and paste oh, it doesn't uh, because there is the we did the x location so it moves it back on the x axis so i need to stay on this frame hit e and put location i do it everywhere so now it will not happen 
So I control C, control V. The same here, control C, control V. And here, I don't have to because it's the last frame. So let's go back to this. And stretch, squash, and in the air, stretch again. Go next here when it's in the air, like this, I have to. Throw it out so the ball is normal, and here it's next contact pose, so I need to stretch. Here it stays, so I squash, and it goes in the air. I stretch, but it goes just a little bit. And here on the 28. I zero it out, normal position, and here I need to do stretch again, just a little bit, squash, just a bit, and then I will do stretch a bit, and one more frame. And here I will zero it out. So the final animation looks like this. And this is it guys. You make the final animation of the bouncing ball.